Okay, here's something you should never do. Point the telescope at the sun. See this? See the sun? There we go. Directed energy, solar power directed energy weapon. Look at that. Okay. So the idea is that if we can, if we tried it with the other lens, which is a lot bigger, but the optics may not have been good enough. This one's got a lot better optics. But it's got a lot smaller, uh, smaller uh, aperture, so it's going to have less power. But the idea is still the same. We can get all the rays from this huge aperture here, compressed into a little beam going parallel about that size. Then uh, we could get a directed energy beam that we could direct like a laser that would be very powerful. Okay, so let's take a look at the power coming out of this thing. Oh, it's got misaligned. Well, we gotta align it. Okay, uh, if you can see that. We can kind of align the lens back and forth and uh, get a really bright dot there. Look at that. See how bright that is? There we go. Actually, it's still coming to a focus. We want to put some more optics in there probably so it doesn't come to a focus, but directs it into a beam. See if we can burn some paper with it. Now you can see how bright that is. You should never look into a telescope at the sun because that will burn out your eyes. I think we might be able to catch this paper on fire. Maybe not. But see, it's still expanding as we bring it back. The beam is expanding, so we need some more optics to uh, make it so it doesn't expand but actually just goes straight. But it, it'll burn your hand, like, right there when it goes to a focus. Ow! You can feel it. Okay. Let's keep on working on this. I think we can get something good out of this. Okay, here we go. So you can see the paper still coming to a focus. Oh, thought we had it focused up pretty good. It looks like it got off focus again. I think the sun keeps on moving, and I don't have a good focus in the vertical direction. It's, I gotta, I can tweak it in the horizontal direction. I have worm gear there, but on the vertical direction, you just gotta loosen it up and retighten it. So that's kind of a pain. We'll try it again. Okay, here we go. See, we got the beam focused up pretty good. Bring that in to a focus, and it is producing smoke on there. So, we can get that thing directed in a straight line. We can definitely burn stuff. I think, I, I think I moved out of focus again. It was smoking a second ago. Sun keeps on moving. Okay.
stop it. Okay, anyway, it was spoken. I'm having trouble holding it still, and the sun keeps on moving. So, see the focus is still expanding. It's not a really true telescope. I think that's because it's got to focus into your eye. So the optics is a little bit weird at the end. I tried taking off this, this end piece, and it's still not really telescoping the way I want. Although it's not expanding as fast as it could be. See that? Let's, uh, let's adjust it a little bit so it's in the center. Okay. Oh, well, that's weird. It moves left and right. When... So the idea is to get that so it travels in a straight beam and then we can burn things at a distance. See that? It's the sun. And I'm worried because it smells like something inside the telescope, so I better take a look. Okay, I guess I figured out what it was burning. It was burning the inside. You have this telescope tube, and I guess when it's misaligned, it was burning around the edges where the uh, lens is held in there, so it's not ideal, but uh, experiments must go on. Let's try a different, we have a couple different, another different lens with a different focal point, so maybe this will help us keep the beam straighter longer. Okay. Okay, so now I remove the end objective altogether, and oh, if you can see, okay, here we go. Got our plastic cup, and let's bring it down here, and it is definitely... Let's get a little bit closer. Smelled a hole in it already. Let's see. This under there. Holes in the cup already. Bring it back a little bit. So the beam is still expanding, but I think maybe maybe with the right optics on there we can get it so it travels straight like a laser beam. We'll be able to melt things at a distance. There we go. Directed energy. Solar powered directed energy weapon. Okay. Okay, so here we go. We got the 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 beam out here and it's expanding still. And we need it'd be nice to tune this in a little bit more. So it's really bright. That's pretty bright I guess. Okay, so we have a magnifying glass. See that brings it brings the beam in a little bit so it's not expanding so much, but it's not quite enough. We really need something with uh, more curvature in the lens. See how it gets smaller and more focused when we do that? So we'll need to find some better optics and we'll hopefully be able to project our beam a distance then. Okay, 
So, we have our telescope lined up with the sun again. And I don't know if you can see that on my hand. So it's coming to a focus right about here. Now I did talk about wanting to make the rays parallel so it's like a laser beam, but for right now, see how there it's out of focus. And when I bring it back, it comes out of focus. I would be happy with just trying to refocus it at a distance because in order to get it to come out like a laser beam, it's going to have to have a very small lens with a very high curvature, probably something like a, a microscope type thing. But let's take a look if we just use this guy here. Okay. So if I put my hand my hand here, right, and I bring it way out here, right, see the beam gets very big, and we don't, we don't want a big beam because that means that the energy density is going to be very low, okay, take a look at my hand out there, you see that, but, so if we take our magnifying glass, we have a magnifying glass here, and we can re refocus the beam, so the beam becomes small and focused again. We find the right place for it. See how the beam is getting focused down? So the beam is big. Now we're focusing it down more with the magnifying lens. Okay. We want to bring that to a focus, a very tight focus. And we're actually out I don't know if you can get ready. Oh, look at that. There's a good tight focus. We're focusing all the rays back down. And it's at quite considerable distance now. So we just need to... Okay, yeah, let's get a better look at that. So I have my hand out here. And we're focus refocusing at quite a distance and getting so that's without the lens with the lens we're going to focus down oh there we go it's actually here way out here okay there so I'm bringing it to a to a tight focus several feet away See if we can see that. So my hand is about two feet away from the, the telescope, and we're getting, getting it into a tight focus there. Once again, right here. Of course, the sun keeps on moving, so we gotta we gotta realign this thing. Okay, so here we have the beam. The beam is unfocused here. And I put in the magnifying lens here in front of it. Get it in the right direction. And in the right spot, we can get a very intense beam focused out here several feet away. We've got to get this at the right focal place, but if we get the right optics, we should be able to project the beam quite a distance here. Okay. See, there's with the magnifying glass. Without it, it's huge. So we're able to refocus it at a distance. And this is all because the sun sun's rays are almost parallel. So it's almost like a laser. Okay. Make 
sure we're focused here. Yeah, we're right in the middle. So hopefully you can see that. Try it again up here. Okay, so there we're able to focus down to a very tight beam on my hand without the magnifying glass and with it. And so it looks like it's very definitely possible to make a nice directed energy beam weapon with something like a telescope. Of course, a bigger telescope would be able to collect a lot more solar radiation and uh, beam a lot more power. And we're still going to have to work on the optics because we want to get it very tightly focused and uh, parallel coming out so we can project the energy a long distance like a laser beam. So this could be a very interesting device. Laser beam like weapon for shooting things at a distance. Of course you have to track the sun though so that is a disadvantage. Anyway, this is Dr. James and thanks for watching.